<laughs> so yeah, it's a little I annoying. I kind of sense. can't stop myself from doing it. I know it is kind of fun, right? It's Push like, the button. Boom. Reusable water bottles can be made from metal, plastic, or glass, all environmentally friendly alternatives to disposable plastic. Now in the past we've tested plastic and metal water bottles, but we always left out glass due to concerns about their weight and their durability. But interest in alternatives to plastic is growing, and glass water bottles are getting more popular by the minute. So we decided it was time to take a look. We evaluated six of them, priced from about 10 bucks to roughly $40. They ranged in capacity from 16 ounces all the way up to 22 ounces. We tested them extensively and we rated them in three categories. Ease of use, cleanup, and durability. Here are the highlights from our testing. They say you should drink eight glasses of water a day, which is a whole lot of water. And that means if you're going to be using a water bottle, it's got to be easy to use. So let's check out how easy to use our first bottle is. This is the Zoku. All right, we're going to open and close these all a ton of times just to get a handle on how easy it is to do, how accurately and concisely the threads weave together. Sometimes with some bottles, it's hard to line them up. What do you think of that one? Not bad. Really goes on and off fairly quickly. <laughs> well, this is certainly easier than screwing on and taking off a top, but we had a, <laughs> we had a tester who used this in the very quiet meditation portion of her yoga class and then and everyone like looked at her and she yeah, said it made her really uncomfortable. She's an instructor too, she's yeah. a yoga instructor so you know it's not very zen, you're like alright everyone down dog. <laughs> How's it feel to open and close? Not bad. It's a little, <laughs> it's a little hard to thread it. This is nice. You know unlike the other one that has the off-center loop this loop you can really grab and it's lined up with the jar so you can just plop it on. We're gonna look now at how easy these are to fill and drink out of. Fairly narrow, but not too bad. How is it? It's like a secondary rim that my mouth hits. Yeah, that's not so good. Ooh. I feel like this is a medium width opening, would you say? Is that yeah. right? Yeah. So it's not, not bad to fill. <laughs> it changes when it's wet. When it's wet, it's even louder. It's like. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. All right, you have you get to get a line there. You that need up. laser like <laughs> precision for this. Okay, oh. and it's like shooting back out at you. Yeah, okay, so because you can't see the water level rising, you don't know when it's going to be done and then it explodes. Really cute, very chic, maybe not that practical. It's like a pair of high heels. Now there's. So easy to <laughs> fill. I, I, I'm kind of bobbling it around too, and I. I didn't spill a drop, and you can see where the level is. Lid style was key in this round. While all of them had screw-on lids, some of them had extra features like additional openings that made them much easier to use. We preferred lids that opened and closed efficiently, and those with wider openings for spill-free filling. All right, let's go on to our next round, clean up. So we filled all the bottles with a red sports drink for three days. I mean, imagine if you like came back from something and left it in there. And we wanted to, we're going to wash them all. We're going to smell them. We're going to look at them, see if any of them retained odors or stains. Let's see. Um, there's no way I'm going to get the bottle brush in that. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting. So a narrow opening is definitely a downside for cleaning. All right, this one, I don't get how you clean this. You're supposed to take the whole sleeve off? Take the whole sleeve off every time. Okay. But see, now this is all wet. Yeah, if you don't take it off every time you're going to fill or clean your water bottle, you and risk every time this. you flick it, like you're Sorry, like, I guess, I it's like you. flicking water at me. <laughs> Super wide opening. This bottle is, brush. Uh, this is, yeah, we love a bottle brush. Yeah, this one is extra good, but it's nice because you can actually oh use God, it and get that thing clean. Oh my God, this is the first one we've been able to like actually get in. And it fits. Yeah. This one's interesting because it's called the glass core. And the part where you see that's red inside, that's the actual bottle. This is a glass bottle inside a plastic sheath so that it's protected. There is no way I would keep track of seven parts, one of them fragile glass. But the reality is, we've learned a lot of testings. The more pieces there are, the more likely something is to break or something is to go wrong. We gave highest marks to bottles that didn't stain or retain odors, had fewer components, and were easier to clean. 
For the most part, they did pretty well in this round. Okay, so let's go to our final round, durability. Okay, so we're here with the glass bottles. We are going to drop them onto the floor from about waist height. We know they're glass, glass is breakable, but we want to check to see if any of them have a little bit more sturdiness than others. They have protective sleeves and some of them have protective built-in elements. We're going to see if that helps and we hopefully will pick ones that will not just smash the first time you have any kind of little accident with them. Three, two, one. Oh, hey, hey, bounced, did not break. Three, two, one. Oh. oh, okay, the glass didn't break, but the plastic little thing that I didn't like is now gone. The, <laughs> the button that pops. Oh no, pops. it doesn't make the noise anymore. Yeah, it's oh, actually broke. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, <gasps> oh no. First fatality. Three, two, one. <laughs> Woo! Woo. Again, with the uh, silicone, it bounced, it didn't uh, break. We are gonna drop the bottles out here on the curb. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh! So, RIP Contigo. Three, two, one. Didn't bounce and... Didn't break. Didn't break. That's amazing. That is awesome. Three, two, one. Bounced, but did not break. So this is not going to annoy us by breaking, but it annoyed us in almost every other way, <laughs> sadly. So it's not the greatest bottle, but it's tough. Three, two, one. one. Oh! And it didn't die. This is good. In this round, we didn't dock points if bottles broke because that's to be expected when you purposely drop glass. Smaller, lighter bottles that weighed around one and three quarters pounds didn't break, even on concrete. Heavier bottles, around two and a half pounds, were not as lucky. After a rigorous gauntlet of testing, one glass water bottle reigned supreme. Hannah? The Life Factory 22 ounce glass bottle is our overall winner. It had a nice wide opening, which made it really easy to fill, and a lid that was easy to screw on and screw off. It was also easy to clean, and as an added bonus, it was much less likely to break than other models in our lineup. Now for more information on our winner and all the other glass bottles we tested, check out the links below. Make sure to ask us your questions in the comments and hit that subscribe button.